Hey guys, welcome to Dan Does Tech Stuff, where I basically tinker with some tech, streaming devices, gaming consoles, and kind of the uh, latest and greatest and things going on in tech, and what I do with it in my kind of day-to-day stuff to bring you some entertainment. So today, I uh, was playing around with my Apple TV, and there's a really cool app called OneCast. And what that does, it allows you to stream your Xbox S or X, Xbox One console to your Apple TV. So um, I have a third gen Apple TV, so I think uh, you can go with some of the newer ones. But as long as you're able to, to download the app and make it work, it should be fine. Um, so what you do first is you, you go over to, obviously you're going to go to your, looking for the App Store here. Um, so the app is called OneCast, so if you do O-N-E-C-A-S-T, um, it's going to be the only one. So it's interesting, uh, Xbox doesn't have a native one here, so it is a third-party app. So once you download it, it's not a free app. I think I paid like eleven ninety nine for it, which isn't too bad. I mean, eleven ninety nine is not bad. And, you know, if someone's using the TV and you have an extra monitor lying around, uh, you can definitely use that and play your Xbox game so you're not missing out. So once you get that installed, um, you want to make sure that you do have a, an Xbox controller or some sort around. You can also use your PlayStation DualShock. I prefer the Xbox just because of the configuration with uh, having the analog stick here. So once you download that, um, to hook up your Xbox, you're going to go over here to remotes and devices. You're going to sync that up via Bluetooth. And once you get that all connected, you can go ahead and use that to also control and navigate the UI on on the Apple TV okay and then you'll come down and there's the app that we downloaded it's called OneCast okay so you want to make sure that your Xbox is on it's on the network and once it detects your Xbox is on the network you'll go ahead and open it up uh, there will be a couple features here um, settings and things um, so you want to make sure that uh, you've got your settings in place uh, so there's my Xbox so configuration took me maybe about five minutes and once it detects you're on the network, you'll hit play. And then, sure enough, it takes you to the uh, Xbox dashboard, uh, your main navigation. Um, so, you know, you can see very minimal lag. Sound and everything works just fine. Um, let's go and play maybe GTA, show you what that looks like. What I really like about the uh, Xbox is it's got that you know instant resume feature but uh, yeah I mean it's pretty sweet you can stream your Xbox your Apple TV I'm, I'm noticing very little lag let's go ahead and park over here see what it's like on on foot ah oh, dang it but uh, yeah, I mean, for, as far as clarity, this is, uh, I believe this is 1080p. But if you're just looking for kind of a device to stream your Xbox game, so that way you're not missing on your, you know, gaming, you can definitely use the Apple TV through the OneCast app. Again, it's $11.99 on the App Store. I'm not getting paid for it. I'm just showing you some cool things that you can do with it. But I uh, just thought I wanted to share that. So hope that was helpful. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment below, and look forward to the next video. Talk to you then. Bye.